It's 652. Welcome back to Good Morning Tucson. This weekend, a Guatemalan woman became the 15th detainee from Eloy Migrant Detention Center to die since 2003. Nine on your side's Carlos Herrera joins us live here in studio with more on the woman's death and how critics are responding. Carlos. Well, experts say it's the deadliest immigration detention center in the country, marking the third in custody death nationwide for immigration and customs enforcement since October. 36 year old Raquel Calderon Hidalgo died at a nearby hospital after suffering a series of seizures. Hidalgo's death has again sparked a discussion among immigration activists who have been critical of the Eloy Detention Center over its conditions. ISAS came out and said its facilities are thoroughly inspected to ensure that people are in a safe environment. Meantime, the U.S. Depart Department of Homeland Security Secretary ordered a review to decide whether to end the use of privately run immigration detention facilities. Pat and Sam, that review is due by Wednesday. Carlos, thank you.